Welcome back to the pig room, you guys. I hope you are doing well. As you can see right now, we've got Mikey. I feel like I haven't shown him off in a little while. Isn't that right? Do you like being on camera? For this week's video, I am going to be filming another vlog. I actually am going to be making this probably more business oriented just because I have a lot of deliveries. Just because I have a lot of deliveries coming in, so I wanted to show you guys how that's all going down. Oh, we just had an order come in as well. I ordered a bunch of stuff for upcoming launches. I've got tons and tons of really cool projects coming. Lots of work, I will say that, involved with it, but I'm really excited to get it out to you guys, but we are just at the beginning stages for some of them. So let's go ahead and just jump right into this. I just had two packages get delivered. This one is from Joann's. Um, it's a massive box. I'm pretty sure it's probably one of my fleeces. I'm not sure which one it is. I think it's the navy. I'll just show you guys when I open it up. This actually got here pleasantly fast, being that it is Joanne's. Um, because Joanne sometimes takes like a decent amount of time to actually get delivered. But they do all the time ship out things separately. So I placed an order for four things and it just comes slowly but surely throughout the week. So, oh, this is two things. Oh my God, guys. All right. I'm even more excited now. So I have a new pattern coming out. This is kind of more Halloween-esque, but then again, it has a little bit of a pig room twist to it. More elevated, more modern. <laughs> can I, can I work? Can I film please, mister? Here I have this gorgeous, gorgeous moth pattern um, that I found on Joann's. Look how stunning this is, literally. So freaking cute. You guys know that I have the moth have eyes pattern. This is now just a slightly different version with a different illustration and different color. Super, super excited for this. We're gonna be doing cozy caves in this, squish tunnels, all kinds of fun things. And then to go ahead and match this sort of like navy-esque blue, I've got this super dark, excuse me, sir. I've got this super dark blue color right here. So I feel like these are going to pair Oh my God, this is like a match made in heaven, like really nice with each other. You know, I think I'm actually gonna probably make just one squish tunnel to see how it looks today. So that is that. Uh, Mikey is biting me because he wants to probably play outside, which we will do soon, sir. But I have one more package to get through and then we can play. This is, I think it's my shirts. I think it's my shirts, my blanks. Um, if you guys, you guys are actually getting a very <laughs> early sneak peek. I'm coming out with Pig Room merch in the future. So I just wanted to go ahead and order some samples from a supplier of certain quality of shirts. So I got two different kinds of shirts, multiple colors. Um, I think I got five colors in total, two of one, three of another kind, just to see the colors and also the quality. Sarah, Guinea Pig Jungle, her husband, Josh, actually helped me out through the entire process of trying to source these and just telling me what he thinks would be best fitted for what I'm looking for. So Josh, or even Sarah, if you're watching this, I love y'all. You are such a big help to me. I appreciate you. And you guys will get my first reaction. Josh was the one who actually recommended, um, I think it's called the Gildan. Is it the Gildan? I actually don't, what am I, I don't, I shouldn't even be talking right now. I should just open this up and I'll be able to tell you. God, this is perfect. Okay, wait, I shouldn't say that yet because I've only got through the first one. Do I know what I got? Okay, yeah, here we go. Okay, so this is actually, yeah, this is the one that Josh had actually recommended to me. It's the 1717 design. Oh my goodness, even just this color and the feel, I don't know why I just smelled it, but this smells <laughs> very fresh. This is potentially one of the most softest shirts I have ever felt in my entire life. This feels such like a luxe shirt. It doesn't feel thin. This one actually feels like scratchier. This one is, this one's really nice. Josh, you came through. It's 100% cotton. Okay, that explains why. Holy crap. So he actually had said that this is more of like a beachy 70s fit and you had me at 70s, let's just say that. You had me at 70s. We'll go through this one later, because that is a different brand, as well as this one. Oh no, those are all, okay, no, this is, I don't even know, this is Bay or Emerald? Oh no, this is Emerald, this is Bay, okay. And this one's over here. This is, this is exactly what I was looking for. This is exactly the kind of shirts that I wanted to come out with. Oh my God. The colors are literally perfect. So this is the Emerald one. So nice. And then this is the shade Bay. 
might obviously change that, but it's just like a nice mint green. And then compared to this, it's like a more of a teal. So we've got these ones right here, right off the bat, just like pulling, hey, <laughs> Mikey likes them too. Right off the bat, just pulling these shirts out. I feel like these are probably the ones I'm gonna go for because they're just a lot nicer. Do you agree? Do you like this? Huh? <laughs> and then this is another brand. Um, again, I'm just trying to test out the quality and stuff like that just to see. Okay, so these are a lot thinner. Interesting. Okay, so these definitely feel like they would keep you warmer. These are really nice for like a hot summer day where you don't want something too heavy. Okay, yeah, I made up my mind. Yeah, it's definitely those ones that are gonna be it. I'll just show you guys the colors though. Um, it's just good to, you know, that I got these just so I know. Um, this is the shade Orchid right here, like a nice mauve light pink. Then we've got our olive right here. Really pretty colors. I really do like these. This one right here. And then we've also got very fitting almost to the shirt that I'm wearing right now. This is called Autumn. So this really nice deep purple. Honestly, if I can find these colors, but for this make of shirt, we would be golden. Yeah, I'm excited. Um, get excited for Pig Room merch coming out very, very soon. Probably gonna be doing t-shirts first and then crew necks and then sweatshirts for the fall slash winter. But I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed that little segment. Um, I'm not sure what else this vlog will entail. For the rest of the day, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get to sewing because I have a lot of work to do. I am currently working on, I'm trying to focus this really quickly. There we go. I'm working on the restock for the Pig Room website since you guys like literally sold me out. But I do actually have another package coming like probably within the next couple hours. So I'll be sure to open that up with you guys. Um, but me and Mikey are gonna get to work. We'll see you guys later. Oh my God, I was just about to leave. I was walking out the door because I ordered Mexican food. Very hungry right now. When I had FedEx show up and deliver the packages I was waiting on. So we're gonna go ahead and actually open these up together. I'm super excited for this, you guys. One of them is for a project that I can't say yet, um, but I've done like a little bit of a hint here or there on my Instagram story. So if you aren't following me, go follow me now. But here I can show you guys this one and actually say what it's for, cause it's pretty basic. I'm gonna put it right on the table. I love opening packages. It's literally Christmas every day as a business owner cause you just order so much stuff. Oh my God, it's so much bigger than I thought. Wow. Wow. This is incredible. So I had some custom, smells funny. I had some custom tape made for the boxes that I ship out to you guys. So here it is right here. It's got all of my piggies on it. We've got Jojo, Caroline, Willow, Ashton, and Vision. And then we've got a bunch of fruit and veggies all the way around. This was actually created by my illustrator who absolutely killed it, but it's just a whole entire collage of the piggies and it goes on infinite for like 300 yards or like 300 feet, whatever I ordered, I totally forget. But this is just a really nice way for me to just customize my packages even more. I'm really trying to up my game when it comes to packaging. So spending a little extra coin here and there on things like this because it was definitely not cheap, but Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. I actually had gotten a tester of this made um, with this exact design uh, probably like six or so months ago and I really did enjoy it. I still have a little bit left, but the design didn't come out the way that I wanted. Um, as you can see, it's like an infinite pattern where there's like no start or end. With the other tape that I ordered, I actually submitted the design wrong. So it was like design, blank space with nothing, design, blank space, it was just, it wasn't cute. But now I actually figured out how to actually do it correctly. So. I am pleased. This is also water activated, so I have to get one of those machines that actually dispense the water and like put it on a sponge when you pull this out and then rip it. So another thing for me to order and unbox for you guys. And then from the same company, I had gotten some big, massive stickers made for an exciting project, which I actually can't say. I don't want to release everything in this vlog, you guys. You know, I'm already giving away that I'm coming out with merch, so. Hold tight, strap in. It's gonna be a wild ride in the pig room. These are actually, oh my God, these are so big. Oh my goodness. All right, so it just comes with our little freebies. Comes with this. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Hmm. You know what? On a second glance, these are actually very pixelated. Damn, 
All right, so these are actually very fuzzy looking, which I'm not pleased about too much. From afar, they're just my logo in five inch stickers, like this. From afar, they look fine, but up close, they're very pixelated. Um, I don't know if that's their own doing or my own. I believe they said that they could only accept a certain megabyte file size, and I believe I submitted the correct sizing. You know what? I can't say I'm entirely mad, mainly because this is not like a key component for the idea that I have. It's just something to add on. So we're cool. We're cool. We're saying chill. It is what it is, but I ordered a bunch of these, like literally so many. Honestly, I could probably use these on like the poly clay clear mailers when I ship out merch and just use these. I don't think I'll be able to use it for the idea that I have in mind or the launch that I have in mind because I'm like kind of switching things up there. But if I don't, I obviously could. It's not the end of the world, but I will figure out something to use these with. But yeah, that is my little unboxing. I think that's actually all I'm going to film today for you guys. I'm definitely going to be including, you know, more pig content in this vlog for you so you can actually see the pigs, check on them, see how they're doing. I'll give you guys some updates as well, but I'm going to go ahead, head out the door and get my Mexican food. <laughs> Mikey, I'll talk to you guys later. Good morning, you guys. Mikey's going a little crazy right now. You've been like the star of this vlog. And we're only like, a, what, 10 minutes in, I think? Right now, I am at McDonald's, which isn't the best thing for me, but I am so hungry. I've just been like not in the mindset or mood to be cooking breakfast. It just seems like such an ordeal. I used to be so good at it, and now I'm like, Nope, no thank you. McDonald's it is. Let me order real quick. Hello, can I help you? Hey, can I get a sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle? Sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle? Yep, and then two hash browns. Two hash browns? Yep. Would that be all? That's it. Alright, it'll be 914, which have you ended up to charity? That's okay. Okay, there's some of these. Thank you. Do you want to try there? I don't know. I don't, okay, 914, there's some of these. Thank you. It's a tax write-off when they ask you if you want a round for charity. So they just, they just get that money back, so. Personally, I don't do it. <laughs> Where's my wallet? Um, sausage, egg, and cheese, McGriddle, two hash browns. That is the way to do it. That's the only way to do it. Mikey's literally half outside the window right now. Thank you so much. Take care. Mikey, you don't gotta say hi to everyone. <laughs> Do you want to pet him? Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Gotta lighten up McDonald's workers' days because I know they have some busy, long ass, hard ass days. So, if you have the chance to pet a dog, then I can offer that. Why not? I'm actually on the way to my studio because what I am planning on doing to, not today, well, partly today. I'm starting a big project for the studio. We're, we're making it over yet again. I mentioned this like a couple weeks ago, but I'm going to be trying to finish the studio space like completely or as much as I completely can. Um, I would love to do drywall, but I'm not sure how expensive that'll be. And I don't personally know how to do it myself. I mean, I'm sure my dad has some friends that could do it for us, but um, yeah, I would obviously have to pay for that. And I could kind of go the route, the cheaper route of just doing, sealing the walls with paint, which we've already three fourths of the way did. And then what my plans are, are to seal the floor and that can kind of hold me off. What my plans are today is first pack some orders because I have about six outstanding that are gonna go out tomorrow. And then after that, what I have to do is go ahead Ahead and just start rearranging the room just because I do have plans on finishing the floor and sealing everything uh, probably within the next week or two it's a process I've been watching a bunch of videos on how to actually do it um, and it's just there's a lot of steps involved so it's gonna take some time to get it done so the first part is gonna be just like getting out as much as I possibly can from that room and getting out all the shelves all the product all the tables literally just making it bare bones and then that way I can just get to work on the room and just bang it out. So yeah, let's go ahead and just head to my studio and I will, after I make this turn, <laughs> talk to you guys later.
right guys, so I just ended up moving out literally everything from this room. It is bare bones, looks exactly the way it did when we moved in here. I'm noticing now that I think I wanna actually do another coat of paint on this wall because it seems like the brown from the cinder block is actually peeking through a bit. So with everything cleared out, I probably will end up doing that, but not today, that's gonna be another project. But I am going to be sealing this floor. As you guys may or may not know, when it comes to concrete in a basement, it can sometimes be a little bit dusty as you can see so sealing the floor is going to help remove that dust out of here and also just be a lot more visually pleasing to actually work on and film in so the first step to sealing the floor is cleaning it so I'm gonna be actually using my shop vac and vacuuming up all the dust then I'm going to move into actually scrubbing it with dish soap and water and getting everything nice and clean and I'll have to do probably two rounds of that after it dries so yeah let's get started <laughs> So it seems like the flooring is gonna take a couple scrubs to really get it prepped. So what I'm gonna do is this is actually gonna be my third round of soap and water just to get it as clean as I possibly can. And then today, before I go home, I'm gonna actually run to Home Depot and get a few things to actually prep for the actual paint itself. Um, I do have to do something called etching, which is actually preparing the concrete to actually accept paint on top of it. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and get to this right here and then get started. Caroline always waits right by the cage when she sees me come in here because you want your food don't you you want your pellets <laughs> you're so cute good morning you guys I'm just gonna turn off my AC so you can hear me better and then we'll start turning on our lights so we've got one unplug this good morning Jojo he is very pellet motivated too 
So he knows what time it is. He's all prepared. And over here we got light number three. Down here we got four and then five. I gave Leon and Styles a full cage clean yesterday, but they love to knock down their piggy bunk bed. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe they love it that much. They're trying to like fight over it or something. So I'll just put that right there. Hey, Styles, do you want to say good morning to everyone? No? All right. I think he's a little grumpy today. <laughs> and there's Caroline again. There is Miss Wanda who is healing up so nicely. Her hair is growing back. Actually, it's pretty thick. Wow, it looks actually very good. The place where her incision is doesn't have a huge um, patch of hair on top of it, but that'll come in time. And then I know this was you, Wanda, because you love flipping this over. So I'm just gonna put that back like that. Here is Kyle. <laughs> so cute. And then we have our two ladies snacking away. There is Eris on the right and Teddy on the left. And our beautiful girl who just got a haircut actually yesterday because she was in desperate need of one and also nail trimming. Miss Lennon, who's just drinking her water as per usual. Good morning. How are you, Missy? You are so beautiful. The fact that someone just like gave her up is crazy to me. She's like the most beautiful pig ever. And then we've got Willow in her pink piggy bunk bed, nice and cozy. They got a full cage clean yesterday as well. Doesn't look like it, but that's because pigs are messy. <laughs> We've got all of our boys down here. I find it sometimes hard to show you guys because I have to like bend down, go through each one, but soon enough, Vision will be here and Winston will be here and I'll be able to show off the boys a lot easier. Boys, what are you doing? <laughs> you guys are making a mess. Boys will be boys and they're gonna argue. You know? Oh, Leona's teeth chattering. It's okay. I know. You guys are okay. Just remember where you came from and where you are now. <laughs> Just think about the good things. Um, I find that when I don't give them their pellets soon enough, they'll get like this. So let's go ahead and take care of them first. So I actually had some people ask me where I got these pellet dishes from. These are actually from my local thrift store. They're technically supposed to be for butter, but I thought these would be the perfect pellet dish, especially for Leon and Mr. Styles, because in the beginning when I first got them, they loved to share from the same pellet dish, even though I had two separate ones. So I thought this is really nice because it's kind of like a trout, so it's super long. They don't have to be near each other, but they can also eat from the same pellet dish if they choose. But yeah, I find that this really helps to keep the peace between my boys. Good morning, Kai. Oop. How are you? Good morning, mister. You are stunning yourself, too. <laughs> I must say, I do have some stunning pigs on my hands. It's a shame that a lot of them are uh, singles and they don't have any friends, because that would make me even more happy, but I guess when you're that pretty, you have a big personality, so it is what it is. Leon has decided to come out, and they're snacking from different pellet dishes, so this is a good sign. <laughs> and here is our crazy boy, Winston. Hi, bud. Hello. If you guys are curious um, in knowing when the Winston sticker is coming out, uh, soon, very, very soon. Um, if you guys are actually interested in seeing the first draft from my illustrator and what everything is going to look like for a sticker, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my Patreon because I posted the first draft of the sticker there. But also, I post so many other things. You guys are literally the first to know. So if I'm ever doing any big projects, um, or filming certain videos, or if I have any major pig updates, patrons are the first to know. So if you guys want some exclusive content, head over there, I promise you guys it's a good place. But I'm really excited for the sticker. I feel like it's long overdue, just because, oops, <laughs> just because so many of you guys have been requesting it, and I feel like if you've been following the pig room for <laughs> Honestly, I don't even have to stay quite some time, mainly because if you even just watch my videos, a couple of them, you know who Winston is. Like, he will make his presence known, and more than likely, he will end up being your favorite. Uh, Eris is very hungry this morning, so I feel like, yeah, this has been a long time in the making with coming out with a Winston sticker, but it's actually happening. Um, I developed an idea, a really funny idea that's very fitting to him, so I'm super excited for it to be nice and finalized. The girlies are all munching down, Wanda's practically in the food dish, as per usual, and Caroline loves to do the same, claiming her territory <laughs> as the queen of the cage. We'll go ahead and give Jojo 
his pellets. We'll run right over there. Oh, you got some poopies, Toby, in your pellet dish. I don't have a trash bag, so we're gonna have to do that for right now. Close your eyes if you didn't like seeing that. <laughs> and then we've got Mr. Ezra. There you go, buddy. And then we've got Lennon and Willow. They don't eat two full scoops, so typically I just put one, and then if I do see that they finish it, I'll put another, but that is hardly ever. And then we got our beautiful boy, Vision, over here, who is going to be bonded with my girls very soon. I was actually planning on doing it this weekend, but I realized I was not mentally or even physically prepared. I don't have enough grids, so I had to order more. I believe those actually get here tomorrow. So I'll be a lot more prepared and we'll be ready. I have to make some arrangements and changes to my room just to make sure I can actually fit the bonding pen. Just because I've never done a bonding with six pigs, so it's gonna be pretty massive, but I'm excited. So on the schedule today, we are going to be heading back to the studio and working on the floor some more. Today is going to be actually etching the floor which is gonna be the process of preparing the floor for the paint. Um, it opens up the pores and actually accepts the paint in, so it's definitely an important process that I cannot skip. I think I'll actually end up painting the walls again or also finishing them, so I may just, I don't know. We've got a busy day ahead of us and I feel like I can bite off more than I can chew, but I really wanna get this big room done just because I just, I, I'm obsessed with the idea of just making it look even better. Obviously I probably should have done this even before I ever launched or even moved into the studio, but I also didn't know the status of the room and also like, you know, certain things that come along with having an unfinished basement and all that kind of stuff. This is going to be a huge process to do. Um, I think I can probably finish the entirety of getting the basement done probably within the week. And that's just talking about getting the floors done and sealed um, and also possibly finishing the walls. I also do really like getting my hands dirty and doing kind of like construction work like this. I used to work construction like how many summers ago? Three or four, five summers ago. And it was honestly a job that I really liked. So being able to kind of revive that for me feels really nice. So I'm super excited to be heading to Home Depot because honestly, I like that place. It's a lot of fun there. So it's actually 10.30 now, which means Guinea Pig Jungle, Sarah just put out a new video where she's actually opening um, the pig room package. So I'm gonna go watch that because her videos are literally the best. Her reactions are priceless as well. So I'm gonna go watch that and I'm gonna go eat some breakfast and then we're gonna head to the studio. Alrighty guys, so about 45 to an hour later, we have just finished the first process for finishing the pig room studio floors. Uh, so again, what we did was etch the floors, um, which is basically preparing the concrete for paint to let it stick to it. So things actually look really good. I was surprised to see the amount of actual dirt 
and scum that was coming up. These floors were absolutely disgusting. So this was, this was such a great move for us. There ended up being a lot of pools of water and it had to be that way because in order to actually neutralize the chemicals, you have to put a lot of water on top of it. So we had a bunch of pools, but we used our shop vac to actually make the process of it drying a lot easier. So things are looking really good. You guys can also see how shiny it looks. It's like a brand new floor. I love it. This is going to have to sit overnight for 24 hours before we can actually move on to the next process, which is going to be prime. So yeah, that's it from us today. Fresh water for the chickens. Mikey is over there. He helped to round them up to get them back in their coop. So I'm just getting them some fresh water. Hi, Ang. You want some water? Open this up. Hello, my girlies. Hello. All right, we'll just place that right there. So they got nice fresh water. They are all now nice and mingled. You guys remember before, these chickens, our new ones, were getting picked on by the old girls, but now that they're all the same size, oh, <laughs> Mikey, they are doing really, really well. And obviously, as you can see, Mikey is very fond of them. Um, they've been loving their new large enclosure, massive coop. They're just, they're some great girls. I love them. Ang, who's that white and black one right there? My absolute favorite, she's stunning. And then Angela over there, the black and white one as well. Um, she is my best friend. She's literally such a sweet chicken. And it's just nice to see them all like, you know, mingle, get along, have more friends. Um, if you guys don't know, we had a few instances with uh, some predators getting into the coop and actually killing, I believe it was three of ours. So it's just nice for them to have some, some friends back. So yeah, that's the chickens. Um, they do need a full coop clean very, very soon. Um, I'm actually gonna head to the farm tomorrow to actually pick up some bedding for them. And I'll probably surprise my dad with that and also cleaning out the coop. Yeah, those are the chickens. So I just got back home and I had a, another delivery at my doorstep. So I figured why don't we open yet again, another package in this vlog. Um, I did order a couple things for the pickies. So I just wanted to open them up with you guys. I know I like when people open up packages. So I figured the more the merrier in this vlog. And we have these right here. So these are actually my pig's absolute favorite toy slash treat ever. Um, it's just these condensed Timothy little like rounds with some apple sticks and they just actually have um, a little hook on the end so you can actually attach it to the cage. This is my first time ever buying the biggest pack. I think there's six in here. I think that's what it is. Ooh, dusty. So here they are right here. They smell very good actually. Um, so they're just these Timothy Hay condensed little like rounds on a wire. Um, and then they also just have these apple sticks in between. This is Wanda's absolute favorite toy. She devours this in literally less than a day. Um, and also the rest of my piggies do enjoy them. Not all of them, but for the most part, a lot of them do. I got these off Amazon. Obviously these will be linked down below in case you guys are interested, but I am such a huge advocate for, how many came in here? One, two, I think six came in here. No, only four. Wow, quite extensive. I believe these were like $20 for four, which is a lot, but I will say a little hack with these ones is that you can actually remove these off the wire and you can just throw them into the cage. So that way you get more use out of, you know, a single one. But I wanna just mention that I am a huge advocate for toys and treats like that inside of guinea pigs cage. I think as much as guinea pigs do enjoy being cozy, feeling cozy, having cozy items, I think it's equally as important to provide them with more natural items. Things like wood hides, things like willow treats, things like tunnels, things like things that they can chew on basically. Now I know that every guinea pig is not into toys as compared to some others, but I think just having them in case is definitely something you should be doing. Don't get me wrong, I am a huge advocate for cozy items, but at the same time, equally as an advocate as for natural items. As we also know, you know, guinea pig's teeth are constantly growing and if they only have soft items and nothing to actually chew on other than hay, um, I think that it definitely, um, you know, runs the risk of potential health issues. And especially if your hay is actually not crunchy enough, that could be a result of overgrown teeth. So just buy some toys. There's literally so many that you can choose from. They have so many on Chewy as well, um, but these are actually the only ones that I find on Amazon. They don't have these kinds on Chewy, so I just got them from Amazon. So let's go ahead and just get into this some more. And while we are on the topic of toys and all that kind of stuff, um, I can just go ahead and mention this one. 
I've actually gotten these before. These are by the brand Changery. It was actually Sarah. I feel like I've been mentioning her a lot in this vlog. Um, Sarah actually turned me on to these. I believe she actually gifted them to me. Um, not this exact kind, just the bamboo chews, which are included in this. But this is sort of like a medley pack. So you get a few bamboo sticks and then also some Timothy condensed chews. Very similar to these ones, but just in rod form. My pigs absolutely love the bamboo chews. These are their ultimate favorite. Um, again, some pigs don't like it, but some pigs do. But again, always have something in the cage for them to chew on, and these are a great option. Link down below as well. And then we have our tried and true. I have my Oxbow Natural Science Joint Support. So these are really, really great for uh, your older piggies, your little elder gals and boys. This has actually glucosamine in it, which is really good for bones. So yeah, I usually give these to Lennon and Caroline, who are my most oldest pigs, but it doesn't hurt to give it to your other pigs as well. And my pigs really do enjoy these. So stocked up and got another pack of that, even though I probably didn't need it because I already had a pack. And then our last item, which is the most important and also heaviest and biggest are some extra CNC grids. So if you guys know or don't know, uh, Vision is way beyond the point of healing from his neuter. Um, so he's ready to be bonded with some piggies, specifically some girls. So the only issue that I ran into when I was about to do the bonding this weekend actually was that I didn't have enough grids to do the bonding pen and keep them in there all while doing the cage renovation and then staying in the bonding pen. I would have actually had to borrow like all the grids from the bonding pen which wouldn't have worked out so i went ahead and um just got another pack of the cnc grids that i use these are the 12 inch ones um i believe i get like 34 or 36 grids in total for 45 dollars. so they are quite expensive but then again compared to other brands out there that do supply you know guinea pig cages with like chloroplast and stuff like that it's a lot cheaper to do it yourself so yeah i went ahead and just purchased some more of these so that way i could do the whole entire cage renovation if it all goes well i have pretty high hopes considering the fact that autumn's went really well with cinnamon cinnamon has a very similar personality to that of vision or winston uh very like female motivated and you know they worked it out they're living in harmony now so i'm really hoping for the exact same outcome for mr vision and i'm going to be doing the whole entire cage renovation and obviously be filming that process if it all goes well so get excited for that video but yes more grids didn't need them technically but um, it's good to just have some more, you know? Alrighty guys, so I think that's going to be the end of this week's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and had a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and as always, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe for more videos every single week. And until then, I hope you and your piggies are happy, safe, and healthy. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.